they all fell. Hey guys, it's Grace, and today I'm going to be filming a quick video before I go back home. So, when you guys are seeing this video, I'm already back at college, but I figured I would film one more video in my room in kind of a weird spot, but my shade is not cooperating right now, so I won't have any natural light to film over there, so that's why I am in this weird position in front of a window. But anyways, today I'm going to be doing a record collection video. I've seen these on some of my subscriptions and they have popped up for a while. So I figured I would just do this. I do not have my record player at school, sadly, because I don't have enough space for it. But I just recently went through and cleaned out a lot of my records just because I had a lot of them that I wasn't listening to and a lot of weird, obscure musicals that I didn't really want to keep. But I would definitely recommend, sorry, you can hear my dog barking in the background. I would definitely recommend looking in thrift stores for records if you have a record player or any kind of like vintage store. They have them for a lot cheaper and you can find some good oldies, um, not necessarily new stuff. So I'm going to get right into these. They're right over here and these should be alphabetically. Um, if that gets messed up, I apologize, but yeah. So the first one I have is a chorus line, and this is a musical for those of you who don't know. And this one is in decent condition. This part of it is like peeling away where the record is, but I could probably get some glue and just glue that down. And I got this one from a thrift store. Love this one. Again, if you are going to a thrift store to get these, I would recommend um, obviously looking at the records first and seeing how scratched up they are. And then my dad also has a record player, so he actually has a like record cleaning system thing. So I just use that to clean them off and I spray down um, the covers as well. So this is Annie in another musical. And once again, I got this one from a thrift store, and this one is actually in really good condition. Then I have this record. This is an Arctic Monkeys record, and that's just the back. And this one is also one of my favorites. Here's the inside, but I got this new, and I think I got this for Christmas one year, so I think my mom purchased this online from somewhere. Then I have this record, and I haven't really used this one a lot yet, but this is just ballet music for bar and center floor technique and I thought it was really I really liked this one um it's in decent condition but I haven't really completely tested out the record yet so I don't know how well it's going to play then I have a Barbara record this is memories and yeah this one's also in decent condition I also got this one from the thrift store I'd have to say that Goodwill and Savers are the best places that I found for records and you just have to kind of go through all of the records that they have. It's like anything in the thrift store, you have to go through all of it in order to find the really good stuff. Then I have Brigadoon. This is a gem that I recently found and this is another musical. Um, I love this musical. It's kind of more of an obscure one that most people don't know. but. This was in pretty good condition as well. Um, another thing I would say is to make sure you check the sleeves to make sure there's actually a record in there because sometimes there is not a record or the record gets lost. So just checking to make sure that the record is still in there. And um, obviously if you're gonna check for scratches, you can do that, but you also wanna make sure that it's the correct record as well. Then I have Plans by Death Cab for Cutie. And I also got this one as a gift. So this one is new the inside looks like yeah my camera battery is flashing so I'm gonna try to do this but this is what is this is this fallout boy yeah it is this is fallout boy um yeah another one that I got not from a thrift store then I have fame the kids of fame and yeah this one's also in pretty good condition this is I don't know if this is I think this is from the movie not the um musical. It's another thing you can find a lot of like movie soundtracks on vinyl, which is kind of obscure. Then I have Fiddler on the Roof, another musical from a thrift store. 
I have Funny Girl, another musical, once again from a thrift store, Barbara, once again. Then I have Jesus Christ Superstar, another musical. This one's pretty hefty, so um, yeah. Especially if you have ones that have two or are supposed to have two records, I would definitely make sure that both of them are in there. And then The King and I, another musical from the thrift store. Music Man, another musical. These are like all musicals and from thrift stores. My Fair Lady. This one is actually the movie version, I think. Yeah. Oklahoma, Oliver, Panic at the Disco. So this one is one that my mom purchased for me, I believe, for Christmas. Queens of the Stone Age. Um, I just like the song Vampire of Time and Memory. The other ones are pretty good too. So I have this one as well. This is not a thrift store find once again. Then I have this one. So this one is very beat up, but it's the Rolling Stones, um, Hot Rocks 1964 to 1971. I really liked the cover art and this one is kind of scratched up, but it's worth it. <laughs> And it's also falling apart, so I have to be careful with that one. Then I have these that I haven't actually listened to yet, but I love this. Um, it's Living Shakespeare, so it's like all of the Shakespeare is condensed and put on vinyl. And I have Hamlet, and I also have Macbeth. Then I have Shirley Temple. This is literally my childhood, so I couldn't pass this one up. And I have Frank Sinatra's Greatest Hit. And Sound of Music, lots of musicals, like I told you guys. South Pacific, um, State Fair, and Flower Drum Song. So these are two. Sometimes they do like two musicals and do a couple songs from each. Thoroughly Modern Millie. And finally, last but not least, West Side Story. And then I just have this like crate that I keep them all in. And yeah, that's basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below for more videos if you haven't already. If you'd like to check out my previous video, you can click at this side of the screen and my previous vlog is on that side of the screen. If you guys have any recommendations for records that I should check out, um, I only have like five records that aren't from the thrift store, so I definitely want to check out more. All right, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.